Welcome back to another episode guys. This week is going to be a good one. Uh, we've just pulled up to Yangela Dam. Uh, we've been told that's how you say it. I would have pronounced it as Ungela, but I'll put it on the screen and uh, you can make up your own mind. But it's absolutely beautiful spot. It is the first weekend of school holidays, so we were a bit worried it was going to be busy. But we've got ourselves a spot by ourselves. We had actually planned to stay here for a couple of days, but uh, on our drive in, we seen a sign for um, another campground um, that looked absolutely incredible. And so we're going to make the most of being dog free and go stay in there. Um, because I've seen it's... it had platypus, yeah. a chance of seeing a platypus. So yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, so we're going to go stay in there. It's um, right next to a national park. So we'll be able to go check out some gorgeous. Yeah. So stay tuned and yeah, we'll take you along for the ride. <laughs> This place is honestly just so beautiful. It's so quiet and like there's a few other people here but we cannot hear anyone just watching the sun go down and it's, it's definitely a place we want to come back to. Just missed the, like, the best colours. We were sitting inside eating dinner watching it and it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, as Carly said, <laughs> got to that we um, booked in somewhere else on the way here to go to tomorrow. Yeah. before we actually got here definitely somewhere we want to come back to and definitely somewhere you got to put on your list it's a bit of a trek in here like it's the most uh it's the steepest range i've ever driven but yeah put the old transmission to the test that's for yeah, sure yeah i mean the views up there were giving me anxiety but <laughs> honestly it was so worth it this place is just so beautiful yeah. and there's so much space here too like no. I don't think this place will actually oops, this, <laughs> this place will pack out through um, school holidays either. No, but we're gonna do clean. dishes. Yeah, and we'll see you guys in the morning. at today's camp we're at the platypus bush camp uh, just down from the Finch Hatton Gorge um, so literally like two kilometers that way is the gorge so we're gonna go check that out tomorrow get up nice and early and hopefully beat the crowd um, it's an absolutely stunning campground it's I mean if you just listen is nothing but flowing water you can hardly hear the other campers. It's just tranquil, I would say. But yeah, we uh, pulled up here. We're gonna stay here for two nights. Go check out the Yangela National Park tomorrow and maybe even go for a swim at the swimming pool. So we'll show you guys around. It's absolutely beautiful. Good morning guys, 
we got up nice and early, made ourselves a coffee, and we are heading into Yungala National Park, and we're going to go do a bit of exploring this morning. Um, there's a few swimming pools and stuff up in this um, national park that we're going to go and check out. And there's a four, is it a 4k walk or something? Yeah, I think so. That we're going to do. Oh, there's a bit of a creek crossing. Jesus. <laughs> Hold on to your bloody camera. Beep. <laughs> wow, would you look at that. We are the only car in the car park. So hopefully if anybody does come soon, we've got a good head start of them and we can visit. Early bird gets the worm, but in this case, early bird gets a waterfall to themselves. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So one of us is a morning person. One of us is not. Let us know in the comments who you think is and who you think isn't. <laughs> Just as we thought, it's now packed as, and heaps of people. Lucky for us, we got both places all to ourselves. Well worth it, eh? Very well worth it. I'm glad that's over and done with before all of these people turned up. Yeah. Cool beans. Cool beans. So we've made it to hold it flat. Yeah, it's a really nice spot. So there's the uh, flat tree spots and then there's a riverfront spot. The riverfront is a little bit uh, pricier by a few dollars, but we got the, um, the grassy spot purely just because it was all that was available. <laughs> but it's really, really nice. We've got ourselves a nice little corner, corner area all to ourselves, And we'll show you in the morning, but there is a river just down there. And yeah, just been chilling out for the afternoon. We um, had a chat to the owner, who is really lovely, has given us a few insider's tips um, as to what to do around here. So we're really excited to go and explore tomorrow and we'll um, yeah, show you what she's told us, if we can find them. <laughs> she said that nothing's really signposted, so um, yeah, we are just going off locals' knowledge, but Hey, that's what this is all about so hopefully we can find those spots and show you but we're just making some dinner and yeah just gonna chill out for the night and we'll see you guys in the morning when we go for a bit of a ticket tour around morning guys so we are off for a bit of an explore today we are chasing waterfalls yeah we're kind of just being sent down a, a gravel road that looks like it's leading to nowhere but we'll find out at the end won't we <laughs> Isn't that what? Cathu Cathu? Cathu State Forest? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll um, see if we can find anything. And yeah, but we're out and about today. Having a bit of a, a look see around. Well, we made it up the range and got to the Cathu Lookout. 
Uh, we're very high, <laughs> and it is very, very windy. Yeah, we're, big, we're kicking ourselves. We didn't do this yesterday. We decided to have a bit of a work day and chill out day. But it was a beautiful blue sky day, and today it's a little bit yeah. crap. So <laughs> Blowing a gale. It's like it rained overnight and it's probably going to rain again now yeah so we will backtrack the way that we came out and we will head to the other spot and try and find this waterfall pretty excited for that as long as the weather doesn't turn to shit because yeah. yeah it is a it is an actual four-wheel drive track i wouldn't recommend bringing a car up here no you can't get one up here so we've just made it back to camp we called it quits on trying to find the waterfall because we were just going down a dirt road and couldn't find anything. Um, got back to camp and we actually ran into the owner who pretty much told us we were only a couple of k's away from it. So she's given us some <laughs> the directions again and um, some landmarks to look out for. So I think we're going to quickly have some lunch and we're going to go back in there because why not? We have nothing better to do. So, trust the old noodles for lunch, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll check back in there. It's probably, yeah, probably about an hour back into where we just came. But, I mean, we just looked up a photo of this place, and it just looks insane. So, I really hope it's worth it, and I hope it's not one of those Instaverse reality type situations, because we are <laughs> driving back up that steep mountain that we just drove. But anyway, <laughs> um, we'll, we'll find out and we'll let you know. Well, we have made it all the way in. Um, we finally found the waterfall sign and followed our way in. It got really rutty, real four-wheel drive shit. I've been having so much fun. But um, I've decided to park there. Other reason why I've decided to not attempt this is because it's getting late in the afternoon. Those are f huge holes, like massive. The poor ute will flex like a sick giraffe on things like that. But Carly's run up to the top. I was on camera duty. So the GoPro's not going to do it justice, but rutty as, steep as. There's this middle line that is like damn near vertical. Wearing jandals, don't want to slip over. Or thongs, as you call them. That is just gnarly. Like I got the chance that I know I'll make it up that one, but being late, this, or being this late in the afternoon, I don't really want to risk it. Don't want to get out on the winches. So yeah, if I was in here with someone else, another vehicle, yeah, it'd be keen as mustard getting into it but for the meantime I get a load of this That was definitely worth it, I think. If we had got here the first time, I think it definitely would have been worth it. So we could have spent a bit of time actually there. And um, swim. Yeah, <laughs> we pretty much just got our shots and are heading off because it is just after three. Um, and we don't want to be in here while it's dark. But bit of a disclaimer, you do need a capable four-wheel drive. Um, don't mind me, this is a steep hill. <sighs> yeah, hence but, why the youth didn't come down here. Yeah, yeah, I'd had enough anxiety for one day. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you are forward driving, I would probably recommend doing it in a pair at least. That way you just have somebody else to help guide you. Um, 
I'm not very confident in doing that with Regan and two cars is always better than one so yeah but if you are into four wheel driving you are in this area and you do have a day to kill definitely come and check this place out we I can't about six hours yeah to see this and the lookout yeah. holy hell we um can't explain <laughs> all right <laughs> we can't explain exactly where it is um you but, just gotta follow your nose yeah it does start to get a little bit sketchy we'll show you some of that footage on the way out now that i know what we're in for <laughs> okay I'm gonna get ourselves out of here before it gets dark and yeah enjoy this footage of me trying not to panic to the lookout thought we better get a couple of good photos now that the day's a bit clearer um, what a day I'm tired Carly's tired from chasing me around in the ute um, but it was all well worth it that um, those falls are amazing so yeah if you are in the area definitely come in here and check this out and um, don't forget to like and subscribe we've got some wicked things happening in the next couple of weeks that you guys really don't want to miss out on so yeah tune in next episode on Front Seat Adventures so where are we going? Cape York.